tensions rising as the deadline for public comment on proposed education requirements surrounding private schools comes to a close next week. News 12 Brooklyn's Lena Salzbank has the latest on how Brooklyn's religious community is reacting to this. I thought at the time that I had coined a new thing called educational neglect. Common Core or Torah Law, a controversial debate placing yeshiva curriculums under the microscope. I didn't know what a cell is, what a molecule is, and this is true for, I would say, the vast majority of Hasidic boys around New York State, and that's unacceptable. The state's Department of Education now stepping in with a set of new proposed regulations. The basic law did not change. It requires all non-public schools to provide an education that is, quote, at least substantially equivalent to public schools. However, the new regulations state students must study certain topics like math, science, and English, and list just how much time needs to be spent on those studies. Many uh, Hasidic yeshivas provide only 90 minutes of secular education in elementary and middle school, and then in many Hasidic boys' high schools, they provide zero secular education. But yeshiva rabbis say this is a blatant attack against their religious rights. How to uh, uproot religion and Judaism from us is by teaching more and more other uh, knowledges. Local rabbis explaining students enter the world with all they need to succeed by studying their scriptures. I'm not saying we can have the answers on, on, on all the physics and everything, but whatever we need, we have. A sacred text they say they will continue teaching despite mounting pressure. It would hurt us, sure, but we wouldn't surrender. We are ready to give up the funding. We are ready to go into jail. Now the state's Department of Education is accepting public comments on this matter through Monday. In Williamsburg, Lena Salzbank, News 12, Brooklyn.